welcome back to my channel, The Apple Latchin' Home. So today we are going to be making some things for an upcoming craft fair. And also I'm gonna be working on some new items for my Etsy shop. So I'm gonna take you guys along and just show you all the new items that I'm going to be making. I'm gonna be working on some decals. I'm also gonna be working on some wood signs and um, some sublimation products. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So let's go ahead and get started on some of these wall decals. So here are some of the decals that we're gonna make for this craft fair. I'm gonna do some pumpkin decals. Um, I'm also gonna do some of these wash and dry decals. These are kind of wall decals or appliance decals for washers and dryers. And then I have some larger wall decals like for your laundry room and things. So here are the first set of decals. I'm going to start making these were super simple to make. I just did them in Design Space. Design Space has a actually has a jack-o-lantern template, so I used that and then I just resized it a little bit. You'll have to change the color so that you can see it. It comes out white. I just changed mine to orange and then I think I made mine um, like 13 inches tall by 10 inches wide just to get a kind of average size pumpkin and that's what I designed everything to. And most of this, these fonts that I used for the de these decals is called Autumn in November. I believed I used a skinny font for the It's Fall Y'all and Chickadee font for the Be Still and Know That I Am God. And I found a lot of these images on Design Space and some of them I found on Etsy. I'm going to just create some black and white decals for these pumpkins or the laundry co decal and the hello and welcome and also the washer and dryer stickers i designed in inkscape if you want to see how i did those just leave me a comment and i'll try to do a video on that but i just uploaded all of these into design space and i'm just going to cut all of these out um, together it's going to be a long day but we're going to go ahead and start on these here is the vinyl i'm using this is just a black matte permanent vinyl by Oracle and this is a white matte vinyl. So I have two different kinds of transfer tape. This is the Green Star brand I get from US Cutter. This is the best. I like it the best. But I also have a roll of this I was trying out. It works okay. Um, I don't like it as good as this one. But these come in huge rolls. These are like 360 foot long rolls. Um, so it's perfect for doing large jobs like this. Um, and I also have some of this masking tape looking um, transfer tape. It's also from Green Star. I like it actually pretty good too. You just can't see the decal as good. But all these transfer tapes are good for doing large projects. Okay, so I have all of my materials ready to go. I'm just going to load all this and start cutting my decals. I'm going to be using my regular Cricut Maker to do most of these decals, but for the longer ones, I actually have a new machine, the Cricut Maker. It actually cuts decals up to 12 feet long and 13 inches wide, so I'm also going to be using that on the wall decals. And also with the Cricut Maker 3, I'm using some Smart Vinyl. You have to use this with your Maker 3 in place of using a mat, so you don't use a cutting mat with this. You just use this Smart Vinyl, and this roll is just the white permanent. I'll do a video on the Cricut Maker 3, but like I said, it does cut decals up to 12 feet long. So you don't use a mat, it just feeds out the back, your material feeds out the back. And I also got this little tray to hold the material in the front, but you don't have to use this. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut some of these longer decals. So I didn't have any of the black Smart Vinyl, I'm just using regular temporary vinyl on my regular Cricut Maker to make another one of these large decals. I'm just gonna piece it together and see how this goes. I'm using my 24 inch mat and I'm just leaving the roll kind of hanging off the end so that I don't have to cut it. I can just try to get it as close as I can on the next cut. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a second. So 
So I'm just removing my material before I cut it and I'm going to attempt to line this up um, so that it continues to cut the rest of this decal in line with the first cut. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but I'll show you in just a second how it turned out. It came out just a little bit off, so I had to move, move it down, but I'm going to go ahead and weed it and show you what I mean um, so that you can get an idea of how I kind of tried to do a really long decal um, on the Maker. It's a lot easier to do on the Maker 3. You don't have to move things around. You just let it cut as long as you want it to cut. And I'll show you both of these decals so that you can compare the two. I'm just moving over the second cut that I made just a little bit because it was just a little bit off. I'm um, just doing that with some transfer tape and this did get, get kind of messy so um, there is definitely more work involved um, in piecing these together but it did turn out okay. And here's the two in comparison. The top one is the one I did with the maker and pieced together. And then this bottom one's kind of hard to see. I did it with white vinyl, but I did this with the maker three. They both turned out um, similar. There's just less work involved with, with the maker three that cuts longer. So now I have all of the decals cut, all I have to do is place some transfer tape over top of them and then they will be ready to package and I'll show you how I package all of my decals. So here are my packaging bags. I got these from Amazon. These are reclosable 10 by 13s and the ones on the right are 12 by 18s for the larger decals. So I'm going to be using both of these um, to package all of the decals. On the wash and dry stickers they fit perfectly in the 10 by 13 bags and the rest of these I'm going to use the 12 by 18 bags and I'll show you a neat trick you can do to save on bags and resize the ones that you already have. Thank you. 
also for these smaller decals I didn't have a bag to actually fit the smaller size so I just use those 12 by 18 bags and I cut those down to better match the size of my decal and I'll show you a neat trick that I found that worked I don't have an actual bag sealer but I found that my food saver actually worked to do this I just placed the bag along that sealing edge and used the seal only option and I just let that seal for just a few seconds and I found out that worked pretty great then I took the bag back over to my cutter and just cut off that extra material along the edge So I finally got all of my decals done and packaged and this took me probably a whole day to finish all of this but I got everything done. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and got some really good ideas. If you are getting ready to do a craft fair or if you're just wanting to sell on a shop on Etsy and things like that I hope this gave you some inspiration. I am going to make some product labels for all of these decals and everything I'm doing at the craft fair. I'm going to do a whole separate video on that so you guys can see how I do my product labels and do my logo and all that good stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope you will subscribe. I've got more videos like this coming up on making products for the craft fair and for my business and if you are subscribed thank you guys so much for watching my channel and my videos and all of your support i will see you guys in my next video